In this video, I'm going to show you a simple and fun way to take photos of toys underwater. The problem with taking photos of toys underwater is that they tend to float to the top. To keep them in place, you'd have to mess around with wires or strings and then hide them with perspective or edit them out later in post. A fun way to keep your toys in place is to surround them with Orbeez. Orbeez come as tiny beads that you soak in water for about 4 hours until they expand. For about 10 to 15 bucks, you can get thousands of water beads on Amazon. To start with, get a square or rectangular glass tank big enough to fit your toy in. Ideally, it should have flat surfaces to minimize glare and distortion. This isn't even a tank, it's a centerpiece, but it's a good size for my LEGO minifigures. Next, fill the tank with the expanded Orbeez. You'll need to prepare these the night before, since they take some time to grow to their full size. I just put a small handful of these in a pitcher of water last night for today's shoot. Next, pour water into the tank so that it covers most of the Orbeez. Use distilled water that's been boiled so you don't have to deal with too many bubbles. I shot a similar scene a couple of weeks before, but I just used regular tap water. There were a ton of tiny bubbles on my minifig that were too hard to get rid of, so I didn't. Next, put the toy in the Orbeez and push it down to about where you want it to be. There might be a few bubbles of air on it, so just try to dislodge them with your finger and turn it over a few times until you release them from the pockets. It helps to let everything settle a bit before shooting, maybe around 10 minutes. Bloop! Next, add a background. Here, I'm using a clipboard that can stand, but you can use a tablet with an underwater photo on it. I'm just going to clip this glitter paper on there to keep it simple. Next, add a light source overhead to simulate the sun. This is an LED closet light that I've clamped to a tabletop tripod. Slide the light around until you get something you like. Move the background, checking for distractions like shadows from the edge of the tank or bright highlights from the LED. When you're happy with the way the scene looks, take some photos. Here are a few shooting tips. Use manual focus. The autofocus on your camera might try to lock onto the front of the tank instead of the toy you're shooting. Try to position your toy as close to the front of the tank as possible so you don't have to shoot through so many layers. The deeper it is into the tank, the less clear your shot's going to be. Now that we're done with the shoot, let's do some editing. Alright, so here's the first image I took right after I finished recording the video. I don't normally frame this wide. This is basically how I ended the recording, including the settings. F5.6, 1 over 50 shutter speed, and ISO 400. I took a bunch of photos with the tighter framing I like, but this first one turned out to have the most interesting lighting on it, so I'm going to crop in on this instead. This is a 6000 by 4000 pixel image, so I have some leeway here. What I have in mind for the framing is to have a little bit of the Orbeez at the top showing, so it kind of looks like the surface of an ocean with little waves. There we go. I'm doing my usual adjustments for sharpening. 70 sharpness and 30 masking. Luminance in the mid 20s to reduce color noise. First, I want to darken the bottom to make it look like light from the surface is dropping off much faster, like it would in the ocean. I'm going to take the graduated filter tool and just pull it up to where I want the lowered exposure to taper off. So about here is good. I'm dropping the exposure, just eyeing it to what I like. The adjustment covers the turtle and minifig a little bit, and I don't want that. So with the graduated filter panel open, I'm going to switch to the brush and hit erase here. Let me just turn on the overlay for the graduated filter so we can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to paint over the turtle and minifig with my brush set to erase at 80%. 
I'm not going to be too diligent here. Okay, so that's looking good. Now I'm going to desaturate the image a little bit because underwater photos don't really pop like this. Maybe around minus 10. And then I'm just going to boost the clarity a touch since I shot through a pane of glass and I'm guessing two or three layers of Orbeez. Here's the before and after. Before and after. I think I'm just going to finish this off with a little bit of a vignette here to make the minifig stand out a bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. Here's a final photo. You could take it further and emphasize light rays, for example, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So there you have it. Super easy setup and simple editing. Orbeez are really fun to work with. Apart from using them in tanks like this, you can also do some really cool macro photography in nature. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving a comment. And if you want to see more behind the scenes and toy photography tutorials, make sure to subscribe. If you use any of my tips in your toy photos, Tag me on Instagram at 4BricksTall and I'll come by to check it out. Thanks for watching!